India's Tajus versus Pakistan's JF 17th under. Don't even compare. India's Tajus, a light combat aircraft LCA that has been inducted into the IAF Indian Air Force, often finds itself being compared to Pakistan's JF 17th under. The JF-17 Thunder fighter aircraft has been developed as a joint venture between Pakistan Aeronautical Complex PSC Camo and Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation CSC of China. Tejas, on the other hand is India's indigenous LCA that has been designed and developed by DRVO. HL and a DA Tejas will be put into a combat role by the IAF as early as 2017, and today HL has handed over two aircraft to the Air Force. With this IAF has raised the first squadron of Tejas, flying daggers 45. On the other hand, the JF-17 Thunder was handed over to the Pakistan Air Force in November 2009. PAC says that JF-17 is a third-generation fighter aircraft. Tejas, claim Adia and DRVO, is a fourth-generation plus combat aircraft. Both JF-17 and Tejas are said to have high combat maneuverability. Weapon Systems Tejas is designed to carry air-to-air, air-to-surface, precision-guided and standoff weaponry. Tejas can carry long-range beyond visual range weapons. According to a DA, Tejas can fire highly agile high off go missiles to tackle any close combat threat. Air-to-ground munitions and and attack system allow it to prosecute surface targets over land or at sea. According to PAC, JF-17 is capable of carrying weapons such as beyond visual range active missiles, highly agile imaging infrared short range missiles, air-to-sea missiles, anti-radiation missiles, laser guided weapons. Runway penetration bombs, general purpose bombs, training bombs, and 23mm double barrel gun. Why compare in the first place? Defense and aviation experts that the online spoke to are of the opinion that any comparison between the two aircraft is not right. Ravi Gupta the former scientist with DRVO says that there is a generation gap between Tejas and JF-17. JF-17 is an upgraded version of MiG-21, developed by China for Pakistan. Tejas is far far superior in terms of avionics and maneuverability. Tejas makes use of composite materials, while JF-17 is all metal. Tejas also boasts of a glass cockpit where data is available to the pilot in real-time digital format, Gupta tells FE Online. Says Colonel Kila Volkuba, independent consultant defense and aerospace. The induction of Tejas is a proud moment for India and IAF. It is also a big leg up for the entire supply chain that has been established around Tejas. Increasingly Indian defense players will compete to be a part of the Tejas supply chain. As far as the JF-17 is concerned, there is no comparison of Tejas with that Chinese aircraft. Tejas is in a class of its own, he said. Aviation expert Angad Singh also believes that one can't compare the two, but for a different reason. Tejas has just been inducted into the IAF, while JF-17 has been in service for many years now. The life cycles of both the aircraft are completely different. Maybe 10 years down the line, when Tejas has been in service for the IAF, one would be able to make some comparison between the two. As of now, it's not something that anyone would be able to assess correctly, 
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.